Hey guys, good morning. Happy Coffee Talk. It's Monday, the Monday after Daylight Savings. So um, it feels like it is 6 a.m., but it's actually 7 a.m. Um, I'm drinking Black Rifle Coffee out of this awesome mug, which is like robin egg blue. It's got a gray belly band, and then on the bottom it's brown. But it has this sort of, I don't know, it, it, to me, it reminds me so much of like the inside of a seashell. Um, and so I love it. I grew up on the eastern shore of Maryland, actually, right near a place called Assateague Island. And so we used to collect seashells, and this is what the inside like looks like to me. So I am just sitting here, and I'm, you know, it's dark out still because of daylight savings. Um, and, you know, to be honest, on Friday, I shared with, um, I'm in this like small group of people who are, you know, at different levels of running a business, but I was chatting with them, their friends, and I was telling them how up until recently, I didn't even feel like I belonged in their room. Like I felt like an imposter that they were going to find out that, you know, I'm not as good as they are or that I couldn't, you know, do some of the things that they've done or that, just wait, they're going to find out. And I shared that with them. I told them that's how I had felt, not just with, not really just with them, but just in general, like almost this like imposter syndrome that we get. And it's not the first time I, I felt it. Um, and funny thing is, is imposter syndrome to me is not the same as like a self-worth or a confidence thing. I feel pretty like happy and you know, who I am and what I'm doing. It's not that it's that like, stepping into a new space, you feel like you don't belong and that you're just pretending and that the people in that space are going to know. That's what you think. And then you think, well, I shouldn't be in this space because I'm not this thing yet. Um, so I remember exactly how imposter syndrome felt when I started going to the gym for the first time. Um, and I would put on a sports bra and I thought, and even though obviously you wear a sports bra to the gym, I was like afraid to buy one that was too cute or too trendy or too athletic. Like I wanted to buy one that was from Walmart and just kind of plain because I felt like if I went into Marshalls or something and I got a Nike one, people would think I was dumb. Like who does she think she is wearing like a Nike sports bra? Like she's out of shape. She doesn't even belong here at this class. And I remember thinking that and having that imposter syndrome, even those first couple classes when I was working out, but I didn't let it stop me. I just kept going. And eventually, of course, I felt like I belonged. And then I felt like I could wear whatever I wanted and it made it much more enjoyable. But that feeling that's popped up again in different times of my life. I remember when I very, very first started coaching you know, seven years ago, and I was doing my vi my first boot camp class, I was terrified that someone was going to come and think like, who is this person? Like, who? What? what is this gear that she has? Like, she's not it. And I just thought to myself, man, like I, it, it was again, it was a new arena. Same thing when I started coaching CrossFit. I was terrified when I stepped on the floor that they were going to think that I didn't know anything. And it was because I had never been in that space before. And I was kind of stepping into a new identity where I wanted to do something. I wanted to be something, but I was in that initial first stage. And so when you're in, in that initial first stage, your mind is the primary obstacle. Your mind gets in the way and tells you that you don't belong, that you can't do it, that you shouldn't try too hard because, you know, it's probably not going to work out anyway. Um, your mind is the problem because if you were already that identity, there's no way that you would walk onto any stage or room um, and give anything less than, you know, owning it and confident and smiling and also wearing what you want to wear and being a part of it. But imposter syndrome shows up periodically and it showed up for me recently because, you know, as Fit Me grows and as we get more, you know, more opportunities to share the message that I feel so passionate about. I feel like an imposter. I feel like who do I think I am that I'm going to talk to all these people and that I'm going to build like a nationwide alternative to some of the biggest diet gimmicks out there. I want to build an alternative to that where that actually helps people. Um, 
but when I say that, it's like, well, who does she think she is? Like, she doesn't, she doesn't get to talk to thousands of people. Like, she doesn't know how to build a business at a nation, national level. And so I've had that same imposter syndrome that's popped up along the way. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you because if you are at a stage right now where you're like, well, people are going to think I'm weird even if I go down the grocery aisle that has the healthy food, that's imposter syndrome. That's you thinking that people think you don't belong because you're trying to step into a new identity. If you're going to go to a workout class for the first time and you don't think you should get to wear a workout shirt because somebody's going to think, well, she's too heavy or like not, you know, not fit enough to be here. That's not real. That's imposter syndrome. That's you putting those thoughts in your own head. And I've done it. So I know I can tell you, um, you know, and part of part of the solution to imposter syndrome is having clarity around what you are building or who you are or what you want um, and then just pushing through it. It is one of those things kind of like, you know, a run or a, um, a hard hike where you have to push through it. I don't think it ever goes away. I think it just fades and then it comes back and it fades and it comes back. It's like a cycle. So if you can practice anything, it's just to, you know, see it for what it is, call it out, and then push through it. Um, so that's my advice to you today on Coffee Talk. Wherever you are and you are facing imposter syndrome, if this is one of the seasons in your life where your own voice in your head is getting in the way, then I challenge you today to call it for what it is and say, I'm gonna do it anyway and push through it because it won't be long before you don't feel like that anymore. And you're like, man, I do belong. This is who I am. This is what I'm about. But you have to push through it. You can't listen to it. So that's my coffee talk message for you today. Hopefully it's helpful. Um, I'm so glad that uh, we have this time to share together in the morning. If you like coffee talk, do me a huge favor. I would It would mean a lot to me to get a review on your podcast platform. So go to your favorite podcast platform, subscribe, and then give me a review. Um, I would really, really appreciate that. And plus it helps people find Fit Me Coffee Talk. And if you're listening on the podcast and you're not in our Facebook group, let me tell you why you need to come on over. So Fit Me Community is our free Facebook group. And in, in this Facebook group, we do diet free habits that help you lose weight. So it is not no bullshit diet stuff. There's no mean girls allowed. This is the one place you definitely want to be on Facebook because we will help you. We'll give you a coaching accountability in that group. And so that's why you should come. Um, and we'll help you practice those habits. So would love to see you in there. Search Fit Me Community on Facebook and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.